So we can attack the monster. What about healing? The heal button doesn't do anything. And therefore it would make sense that we also react to clicks on that. It's the heal button constant here. So we want to add an event listener to that. And of course we want to trigger a function when this button is clicked. So for that we can register a new function, add it here maybe, the heal player handler or whatever you want to name it. And this heal player handler function should be triggered when the heal button is pressed. Now what happens in that heal player handler? In the end here, I want to heal the player by a certain amount and that amount should also be set up up there so that we can conveniently change it in one single place for the entire game. I will name it heal value and maybe set that to let's say 20 which is a lot and you can definitely play around with different values here if you want to. Now in vendor.js we will also have the increase player health function which is in the end the heal part. This does not randomly calculate a value so instead the heal value we have will always be the real heal value applied. So there is no randomness involved here. This will just update the player health bar in the UI. So now with the heal value set up up there, we can use it in the heal player handler. And there I in the end want to call increase player health, which is that function I just showed in vendor.js and forward the heal value so that we can heal the player. And thereafter, of course, still the monster should be able to hit us. So in the end we will heal, but we will also take an immediate hit by the monster. So the monster hits us after every turn, no matter if we attacked it or if we healed ourselves. So we want to let the monster attack us. So that means that this code here also needs to run. And of course, since the monster will hit us, we could, even though we healed ourselves, we could theoretically be dead not really with a heal value of 20 and a max monster attack of 14. So in this scenario, we actually can't be dead. But if the monster would hit us for a value of bigger than 20, so a maximum damage of bigger than 20, or if we would heal for less, then we could be dead. And since these values can be adjusted by you as a developer, I wanna handle that case as well. So we could be dead, hence I also want to have my win condition uh, be executed here. Certainly the player can't have one because the player dealt no damage to the monster but the monster might have one if values were different. So in the end running this entire code again doesn't sound too bad. Now obviously we can copy it over but you know what you learned about copying code not the best idea. So instead let's add a brand new function which we maybe name and round and in there, I have my code where the monster hits us and where we check whether we won or the monster won or if we have a draw or if nothing happened. Now this and round function can now be executed whenever we had this code before. So in the attack monster function, after we dealt damage to the monster, we can call and round like this. And now this will, well, and round, let the monster attack us and check the win condition. And we do the same here after healing, call and round. Again, code reused efficiently, very lean functions to find up there and a reusable and round function, which we can call whenever a round is over. So even if we would add more options here. With that, if we now hit the monster and we heal ourselves, you see the health goes up a bit. Here we go and so on. But we can never heal to full because we always get damaged by the monster or at least it's very hard. One problem we have with this heal logic right now though is that we can actually also heal if we already have full health. So if I click heal here we actually take damage because the monster still hits us but with enough luck we can actually go above our maximum health. By the way you will also see that if you press heal a lot you eventually lose which is very strange. Now that's also something we'll have to fix. Now the reason for us losing is that whilst our progress bar is updated by calling this function, our health, which we manage here, the current player health, which is important for our win condition, actually isn't adjusted. We adjust it when the monster hits us, then we reduce our health here, current player health reduced. We also reduce the monster health when we hit it, 
but we don't update, we don't increase the current player health if we heal ourselves. So that's one thing we have to do. We have to set the current player health plus equal to heal value here. Otherwise, the progress bar health does not reflect our internal game health. And in addition, I want to make sure that we can't heal for more than our maximum health, so that we can't go above our maximum health. To guarantee that, we can actually add a new variable here in the heal player handler, maybe named heal value like this, which of course is different from our constant here. It's written in a totally different way and JavaScript is case sensitive. And of course there also we have an underscore, which we don't have here. So it's a totally different variable. Even if it would be the same, thanks to variable shadowing, we could have the same name here in a function as we have globally, by the way, but this is a brand new variable, doesn't even have a shared name anywhere. And I'm adding this variable because now again, we can add a if check here and check if the current player health is greater or equal than the chosen max life, which is hard coded to 100 here, which later can be set by the user. So the chosen max life minus the heal value. Now, what does this comparison do? Now, keep in mind that thanks to operator precedence, this is evaluated first. So this basically at the beginning of the game, for example, calculates 100 minus 20, so 80 as a result. And therefore we check if the current player health is greater than 80 here, which at the beginning is the case because at the beginning, the current player health is equal to the chosen max life, which is 100, 100 is greater than 80. If that's the case, then we know that the heal value is either just enough to fully heal us back up to our max health or to even heal us beyond that. Put in other words, if we just applied heal value to improve our health, we would at least go up to our initial health, maybe even go higher than that. So in that case, what I wanna do, I want you maybe throw an alert where I say you can't, and now I wanna use a single quote here, even though my entire string is surrounded by single quotes, to fix that, we can use double quotes to surround the string. Then I can say you can't heal to more than your max initial health or something like that. And thereafter I set the heal value equal to the chosen max life minus the current player health, which basically means we heal the player back up to his initial health, but not above that. Now else, which is the case if our current health is not greater than this difference. So for example, if our current health is 60, this difference here for the current initial values always is 80. Then if we have a current health of 60, we don't make it into this block. Then we go into the else block because now we know if we apply the full heal value of 20, we will certainly still be below our maximum. So we don't need to tell the user that we healed him for less. Instead, we can apply the full heal value. So the full 20 health points in this case here to heal the player. So then I will set heal value equal to our global heal value constant here. So here we apply the full 20 health points in this case. Here we might also apply the full 20 health points if the current player health is exactly 80. But for example, if it's 90, this here will only be a value of 10 because we can't heal the player for more than up to his maximum initial life. So why did I do all of that? Because now heal value is a dynamic value which takes the maximum amount of life and the current amount of life of the player into account. And therefore now we increase the player health by this heal value and also our in-game player health by this value. And now if I save that and I reload and I click heal right at the start, we get this alert and we are healed back up. But since the monster immediately hits us, we actually don't see that. So healing at the beginning of the game just is stupid as you can see. But if we then attack, for example, here I get a warning. Still a warning, but here we see the effect a bit because the monster didn't hit us as hard and so on. So this now works and if I'm a bit uh, lower on health, we don't get the warning, of course. We only get this if we're high on health and we would potentially heal ourselves up for more than our max health before the monster then hits us again. So this is the healing functionality. Now we also don't lose 
because of some out of sync in-game health and health bar health. And therefore now we successfully added a heal functionality with another if check example, in this case used to ensure that we can't heal for more than up to our maximum initial health.